possible by 4 a.m., but definitely between 4 and 6 is when we're expecting that best chance at a few rumbles of thunder and some rain. So let's talk about what to expect tonight into Thursday. Rain will be arriving again between about 4 to 6. Some thunder is likely too. Thunder does not make a storm severe. That is, of course, those wind speeds over 60 miles per hour, the large hail, the damage expected. All that is not part of the forecast here tonight. Yes, it could get a bit loud at times, could see some heavy rain, but that's about it. A wet Thursday morning, a drier midday forecast for sure, but then after midday, we could see possibly another round of thunder, and this would likely arrive late. Uh, more like maybe 6, 7 p.m. to about midnight or so. So future track showing mostly cloudy skies uh, through the evening into tomorrow morning. There's some of those showers and maybe embedded thunderstorms early Thursday morning. Could see kind of another round right around mid-morning, 8 to 11 or so, bringing in some showers, a few thunderstorms. By 11 a.m., there's a line of showers and storms that will likely exit northwest Ohio right around noon, and then we're back to partly, maybe even mostly sunny skies at times, before a few more scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms, some downpours move through the area. And then once that's done, by about 7 or 8 p.m., we should be pretty much done for the evening with that severe risk, again, remaining very conditional, very marginal. In fact, the severe weather outlook here shows that for most of the state of Indiana, we're on a one on the scale of one to five with the greatest severe risk to the south and west. It's going to be warmer and a lot more unstable. That uh, air mass there, definitely more conducive for severe weather. Our rainfall amounts are going to be very much dependent on which areas see some of those heavier downpours. Some regions could actually see rainfall amounts around an inch or more. Others may be only seeing about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch. Like look at LaGrange. There's a, a potential that there are some communities that see very uh, vastly different numbers than others. That's kind of how the thunderstorm season uh, kind of weather goes. Uh, temperatures will be in the mid 60s once again tomorrow, but then we'll see that front pass through, drag temperatures back down to the mid 50s. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. You can see the scattered thunder chance with the severe risk, of course, remaining fairly low. Temperatures will be into the mid 60s. And here's just one more look here at some of those threats. Heavy rain, there's that medium chance of seeing moderate rainfall with 60 mile per hour wind, large hail, and tornado chances being relatively low. Uh, clouds, showers, Friday, 55, 56, breezy, mostly sunny on Saturday, partly sunny on Sunday, 45. Temperatures into the 30s with a few flurries, if you can believe it, on Monday. And then we're back to the mid 40s by the middle of next week. Yep, he said flurries, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Matt.